Hey guys, Tim here from TimKipTutorials.com. Uh, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on uh, active member and uh, guest system. So as you can see here, who's online? We have zero guests, one user. Um, and if I were to log out, it shows one guest, zero users. So when I log back in, log back in, it says one user zero guests so it converts me from a guest to a user and so on and if there are other people looking at my site uh, it would say however many so we're gonna create a system sort of like that um, before we get started I'm gonna expand on a tutorial series that I already started so under the PHP MySQL video tutorial series uh, down at the bottom under miscellaneous you have creating a simple MySQL login form um, if you want to basically what this is going to do is just going to be the the login backend for our system so we can track who's online who's not so uh, instead of doing a tutorial with a login system in it we're just going to implement this one so you can feel free to watch the video uh, and follow along if not you can download the source code right here by clicking this link um, so I have already done that and so I'm going to go ahead and open that up let me just look uh, load to that position right now and basically these three files are what you're going to get log me in or login.php readme and a user table.sql so basically the readme just says you can use this file blah 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 all this good stuff and we're going to open up the login page so the login script you're going to get is this I'll show you how it works right now let me just go over to it So we're at login.php. This is what comes in the uh, zip file. And I have already set up, actually, before, first, before we do that, we're going to go into PHP My Admin. And we're going to create a new database. And we're going to call it Online Members. We're just going to do that create database. And we're going to go up here to Import and location of the text file, we're going to hit choose file and we're going to browse to um, where the zip file is that you downloaded from my site or if you're following along you would already have created this so I'm going to import this user table.sql I'm going to hit go at the bottom and I'll let that work and as you can see it created a users table right here so quick way to create our little table that we're going to be working with so I'm just going to go ahead and insert some information I'm just going to say Tim uh, Kip and I'm just going to put the password equal to 123 so we'll do that and I've been inserted so now when we go back over here I'm going to put in Tim Kip password is 123 login and oh, I realize what I have to do. I have to put in a host and change my uh, password database and all that kind of stuff. Uh, online members is the database I'm working in. Go ahead and save that. Let's refresh this. I'll try this one more time. Okay, it says you have successfully been logged in. So this is just a basic test for a login system. It doesn't set any sessions or anything like that. So the first thing we're going to want to do at the top here is we're just going to put session start. And then to implement a, a session variable right here where it says successfully logged in, all we're going to do is we're going to put dollar sign underscore session in all caps, a left bracket, two single quotes, and a right bracket in a semi uh, is equal to and inside these we're going to put UID we're just going to make a user ID session variable um, or actually we're instead of that we're just going to put user ses ses session user and we're going to put equal to username and what we're getting that from up here in the post variable so that's all we're going to add there and we're going to add another thing to the bottom. We're just going to say header uh, location colon and then we're just going to put 
index.php. This file does not exist yet, but we're going to create it, and that will be where we're going to be testing out our database for our active members and guests and all that stuff. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to log in again, refresh the page, try it again. Tim Kip, one, two, three, and it's going to say object not found because the index page does not exist. So from now, we're going to create a, a new file. We're just going to open and close PHP bracket or HTML. We're just going to do a simple uh, HTML code block for a page right here. Open up our body tags, close our body tags. Inside of the header, we're just going to give it a title. In fact, I'm going to make this easy. I'm just going to go to the login page at the bottom. I'm just going to copy the code at the bottom right there. Paste it in. Change the uh, title to, uh, let's see, online members. And we're going to delete this form right here. And inside of the H1 tags, we're just going to put online members. Save this. Go to your directory that you created with your login page, and we're just going to put index.php. So if we go back to the browser, refresh, the index page will now turn into the online members. And we'll just throw a little paragraph tag here that say we are displaying how many guests and members are currently on the site. Close that off, save it, and there you go. Just give ourselves a little reminder. Okay. So, with that, so let's go up ahead and set up our, uh, our database for our online guests and members. So, first thing we need to do is we're going to go back to online members and create a table. First one we're going to create is active underscore guests, and we're going to give it a field of two. And let that go. Field one will be guest underscore IP with the type of varchar, uh, length and value of 15. And we're going to make this one uh, index is equal to primary. And then the next form is going to be time underscore visited, uh, an integer type of 15. I'm going to go ahead and hit. Uh, go at the bottom. Oops, sorry about that. Save instead of go. And as you can see, we have guest IP and time visited. And we're going to go back to online members. We're going to create one more table and call it active users or members, whatever you want to create. Let's just do members just to keep everything the same. Two fields as well first one we're going to put is username it's going to be a varchar and we're just going to say 25 this one will be index of primary and then we're also going to do a time visited integer of 15 and scroll down and hit save okay now we have our two uh, tables, or three tables, I'm sorry, active guests, members, and users. So we can go back to our new file that we created, and we're just going to put down here a paragraph tag. We're going to say online guests, the semicolon, and we're just going to put zero for now. Close that paragraph tag, open up another one. We're going to say online members, and then we're just going to put zero for now. Go back, go over here, see what it looks like. Okay, we have zero and zero. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go up here at the top and we're going to open and close PHP brackets. And we're going to say session start for our first thing. And under there, we're going to start setting our time variable. So there's going to be a, a guest timeout, which is going to be if the guest has left your site, we're going to check to see if the time that they have accessed the site is greater than two minutes. 
and if it is, then we're going to remove them from the database so there's no longer an active guest if there's not really a guest on the site. So basically what it does, it gets the current time, it subtracts uh, two, it, well, basically what this is is equal to two minutes. So uh, the timeout will be the time minus two minutes, so it's going to run a check in a little bit, and we're also going to say member underscore timeout as well is equal to time and I'm just gonna set this to five so guests have a two-minute timeout and members have a five-minute timeout alright and we're gonna need to get the guest IP so we can track that and it's gonna be dollar sign underscore server left bracket two single quotes right bracket inside the single quotes we're gonna put uh, remote underscore ADDR for remote address. Finish it off with a semicolon. And we just need our time variable is equal to the current time. And we're going to do a check to see if the uh, user is logged in. So we're going to say if dollar sign underscore session in all caps, left bracket, two single quotes, oh, right bracket. We're going to say user name, and I think that's what I named it over here on login and session user so we're just going to put session user else we're just going to leave ourselves a note that says if the user has been logged in and we're just going to leave them not logged in guest Okay. The first thing that we need to do if they are logged in, we're just going to create a query, SQL query, equal to MySQL underscore query. I forgot the parentheses. Okay. We're going to say delete from active guests, where guest underscore IP is equal to that and then inside here we're going to put two double quotes two inside there we're going to put two periods and we're going to say dollar sign guest underscore IP to get our guest IP variable right there and then the next thing we're going to do is SQL2 is equal to at MySQL underscore query do that and we're gonna say replace into active underscore members and we're gonna put UID and time underscore visited It'll help if I spell dress right time visited and we're gonna give it values of open and close parentheses inside there we're gonna do two single quotes, a comma, and a single quote, and inside there, since we have two uh, uh, variables that we want to put in, two double quotes, two periods, inside the first one for user ID, or I'm sorry, let me check this real quick, make sure I, it is user ID, it's username, I'm sorry, for so where it says UID, we're going to change it to say username, we're going to say dollar sign underscore session, uh, left bracket, right bracket, inside there we're going to do two single quotes and we're going to put user and inside of your two single quotes at the end here we're going to put two more double quotes inside there, two periods and then we're going to say time so that is a time visited and then on the else statement actually we're getting a little low on time here so in the else statement we'll be taking care of that in part two and we'll be finishing up the rest of the queries and we'll get this thing all working out. So join me in part two. I'll see you in a bit.